Today's video was requested by one of our YouTube followers, Aliana Rivera. She wants to know how she can keep up with her daily routine and organize her day. One of the keys to a successful life and achieving our dreams depends on how we manage each and every day. Today, you will learn five tricks that successful people use to organize their day. and you are watching Diana Bryan TV, the best place to be to find all the tools and techniques that you need to create and live the life of your dreams and become the happiest woman you know. Think of your daily planning as a pathway for your life. A clear schedule will help you get closer every day to that dream or vision that you have. Scheduling your daily activities will allow you to manage the outcome of your day better. The Bible says that if you are disciplined and stick with it, it will really pay off. So let's learn how you can get more discipline. Everybody has a different way to keep track of their schedule. Some people prefer to do it digitally on their phones or computers using different programs such as OmniFocus, Evernote, Outlook, Calendar, or a simple Word document. I am more old-fashioned and I use pen and paper. I notice it works best for me to do it this way. I created a schedule for my daily activities and to-dos that help me stay focused and motivated to achieve all my daily tasks. If you want to download a free copy of my daily calendar, click here. There is also a link in the description below. I will share with you how I manage and organize my day. You can use this as a template to help you organize yours as well. And please feel free to adapt it to your own needs. So if you want, go ahead and pause this video and get a copy of a calendar and checklist so you can complete the information as we progress on the video. If you are not interested in the calendar, no worries. You can still apply the information from this video if you decide to go digitally. What's important here is that you find a method that works for you. The success of the day starts the night before, so make sure you plan your day ahead of time. Spend a couple of minutes preparing yourself for a successful day. Start by looking at the things that are in your calendar that cannot be changed or compromised, such as a doctor appointment at 10 a.m. or a call with a client at 1 p.m. or a psychology class at 3 p.m. Add these unmovable appointments to your schedule so you know how much time you have to complete other activities. When you wake up, you will have a clear vision and organization for your day. Keep in mind that for every one minute you spend planning your day, you will save 10 minutes in completing the task. Write down everything you have to do for the next day. This will not just help you clear out your mind, but it will also help you manage stress. Create a checklist and divide it by categories, listing all the areas of your life. If you're using my checklist, it will be there for you. So make sure the spiritual, career, health, etc. is there. Categorizing by the areas of your life will help you remember and it will trigger tasks that need to be done for each area. There will be some days where some areas might be empty and that's okay. I always try to accomplish at least one task in each area to ensure that all the areas of my life are in balance. If you would like to learn more about all the areas of your life, you can watch this video here. List your to-dos for the day under each category and in order of importance. Make sure you write this list as actionable tasks. So for example, instead of listing mom, say call mom. This will trigger the brain to take action. You can check off the boxes throughout the day as you accomplish the task. There is a great satisfaction of accomplishment while you are checking off these boxes from the calendar. Give it a try. Once you have your checklist ready, it is time to put those tasks on your calendar. Estimate how long each task will take you to complete so you have a better idea of how your day looks like. Start putting those tasks in order of importance on your schedule. This will help you have more control of your time instead of letting time taking control of you. One thing that helps me start my day right, full of purpose and control, is my morning routine. It prepares me for a successful day. So I encourage you to follow yours, and if you don't have one yet and need some inspiration, watch the morning routine here. 
you will feel how you start your day full of control over your schedule, your day, and your time. Make sure you schedule some breaks during your day. If you're following my calendar, this will be there already for you. These breaks will help you refocus, re-energize, and come back fresh to tackle the next thing on your list. At the end of the day, reward yourself. This will help you get excited and motivated for the next day and you will have something to look forward to. Look over your list and find what is the most important thing to tackle first. Start by working on those items that are most important and will need immediate attention. Begin working on them first and don't stop until you have finished with it. The key is to stay on task until you are done and don't move on to the next task until you have checked off the current one from your checklist. It is important to not lose momentum. Stay tuned for an upcoming video where I will be teaching you how to deal with interruptions. Now that you have selected the way you will be tracking your day, think about the overall result and the outcome you want to accomplish for your day. Whether it is losing weight, spending more time with God or family, or make progress towards your goals at work, having a clear outcome will help you stay focused, motivated, and in control of what you want to achieve on your day. So Aliana, I hope you found this video helpful, and don't forget to get a free copy of the checklist and calendar schedule if you haven't already. Always remember that the success of your life depends on your daily steps. Now, I have a challenge for you. Stick with your daily schedule and your morning routine for at least one week and post your results below. Were you able to keep it up? Do you have a more productive and proactive week? Let me know in the comments below. If you keep up for 21 days, it will become a new habit. As always, thank you so much everybody for your kind comments and for watching. I'm so excited to see this community growing so fast. Did you learn something new? Then like and share this video so we can reach and help other women around the world. Stay motivated and keep pressing forward to live the life of your dreams and become the happiest woman you know. I'll see you next week on Diana Bryan TV. I'll dare you to dream big.